I truly believe that art makes children powerful. If you teach children the ability to draw, to communicate their ideas, then you're opening up a world for them to be able to express and interpret and communicate with others. In the lower school, we're introducing students to the fact that there are lots of different ways of seeing the world. and We look at how do we actually perceive. We then move through to thinking about our environment and the landscape and architecture, and finally settling in on the human form and the figure and how art represents identity and, and different forms of representation. My subtopic is metamorphosis, which is really cool because I can just play around with the human figure and identity and what connects us to nature. As we move into GCSE, we start to deepen our research. There is more curriculum time. Students learn more detailed skills in a wider range of facilities. So they might look at screen printing, etching, lino, and then develop that also into 3D. We also use some textiles techniques with mannequins. And really this is where the student gets to develop their own idea about what they might like to pursue further on in a career, perhaps. I'm doing some embellishing, which is basically sewing without thread. You layer some felt or fabric or ribbons or any material and these are barbed needles so they bring up the thread that's attaching each one. I think I'm going to try and do this. At A level the first year is very much about breadth, exploring and experimenting and trying different techniques out and then they specialise in the second year where Really, they're developing their own course based on their areas of interest. They do some really deep research into an aspect of art and design that they are personally really connected to. I've created a screen print and I used reference photos from my own digital library. There was a lot of palm trees in Costa Rica where I originally took the photos. So I was like, oh, I can use the trunks of the palm trees interweaving to create an interesting repetitive design so it's not too blocky. Everyone is an artist. It's just that what medium is it that you can best express your ideas in? We're lucky enough here in the department to have such a wide range of resources that we can introduce students to. It's just finding that spark that captures how children can express themselves. Mm -hmm.